In this lesson, I'll demonstrate how to implement insert, update, and delete operations for an appointment in a scheduler control bound to a Microsoft SQL Server database. We'll use our simple application from the previous lesson. First, we'll need to write some code to remove the unneeded identity field when a new appointment is created. The identity will be given by the server instead. To do this, I create an event handler for the appointment row inserting event. Now I'll create an intermediate variable that will hold the appointment's ID. I switch back to design view and select the appointment's data source object within the properties window to access its events. I'm going to create an event handler for the inserted event. This code is executed after an appointment is inserted into the data source. The application needs to know the new appointment's ID is signed by the server in order to handle it properly. I go back to Design View and select ASPX Scheduler to view its events. I'll create another event handler to handle the appointment row inserted event of the scheduler control. I'm going to set the key field value for the appointment's data record manually, since the data provider employs its own mechanism for calculating the ID value. Next, we'll create a handler for the scheduler's appointments inserted event. To do this, we first need to add references to the extra scheduler and ASPX scheduler. Now I'll add some code to record the ID field's value of the new appointment in the ASPX scheduler storage component. Let's run the web application to see the result. I switch to a day that has an appointment and change its duration. This change is applied to the appointment in the database. I can create a new appointment. And that appointment is now created and inserted into the SQL Server database. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.